Hi everyone. Uh, if you've been on Twitter lately and you follow me or you follow people like me, um, if you want to follow me, by the way, I'm at Fear Blindness. <laughs> can never have too many followers. Um, you would have seen the hashtag um, questions for men. I have. It's a bunch of feminists asking semi-loaded questions, assuming one answer and getting another. I suspect you don't like it when men have similar experiences as women. Seems pretty innocent. Uh, until you actually participate in it and then you get um, about 50 mentions uh, in on your Twitter page about how um, being catcalled is actually a compliment. It's not whether or not you think of it as a compliment or not. It's the intent of the person sending you the would-be compliment. If I don't like fish and I go to a Japanese home and they offer me fish, Am I supposed to get offended because they were supposed to know that I don't like fish? This is false. You are projecting emotions because you feel getting catcalled is annoying and not a compliment. You feel all women feel this way. And so far, it's only feminists that I've noticed that is complaining about this. I don't know if you know this, but feminism isn't that popular and only 23% of the population even identify as feminists. So if only feminists are complaining about this, that's not most women just saying. Oh, sorry, that is an appeal to majority fallacy on my part. Feel free to correct it with any scientific study. I'll wait. Yeah. Now some hilarious Twitter guy um, tweeted back to me, questions for feminists. The answer to almost every question for men is yes, men have similar sexist experiences. And why is that so difficult for feminists to believe? Is your world of single gender victimization crashing down around you? I replied with, you get catcalled. Um, and apparently men get catcalled. And I'm sorry for that. Uh, but I can assume that it's not um, the same amount that women do. Just ignore my cat. How do we spell assume? Let's spell it together, shall we? A S S. U M E. So let's make an ass out of you and me. Um, she's also a feminist. She's pretty unhappy with this. Um, and I would like to read you some of the responses that came flooding in. Um, yes, yes, please do. This one is from Ryan. I'm going to name and shame because they're idiots. Ryan is at Beantown Born. He says... What a burden it must be to have the opposite sex constantly showing interest in you. He's right. How does that tweet make him an idiot? You are complaining about something that can be easily ignored if it bothers you. You know why you thought men didn't get catcalled? Because we don't complain about stupid little things that can be easily ignored. Obviously that was sarcastic. Um, I replied with, you're right. I should be grateful when guys yell out, nice tits. Nice tits isn't a compliment in polite society, and like any jerk, male or female, that remark should be ignored. Um, which I have happened to me. I can remember once, but I'm probably, um, I've had it a couple of times. A couple of times. Out of, wait, how old are you? Um, he replied with, I'd probably trade any other problem in life for this minor annoyance. Correct again. Yes, it is a minor annoyance in the grand scheme of things. Uh, more annoying things are starving children or taxes or something like that. But when it actually happens to you, um, funnily enough, it doesn't feel like a compliment when a strange man yells at you on the street whilst you're usually by yourself um, and comments about your body. Context is everything. Unfortunately, common sense isn't that common, so I won't use that as an argument. Obviously, comments on your private parts are not something that should be condoned in polite society. But I keep hearing feminists complain about nice hair or nice makeup. You look pretty. You look gorgeous. You look fine. Or just plain niceties. And women are choosing to take these as, well, insults. Because they aren't compliments, according to you, they must be not compliments? What are they? Now, in classic man-child behaviour, um, as I began to explain to this guy that uh, catcalling is not a compliment and not something that uh, most women want, I think I'm, I might go out on a limb and say all. Oh, I don't think any woman enjoys 
having men yell at them on the street. Shall we spell assume again? Um, as I began to explain this to him and have other Twitter people jump on board supporting me, um, especially women, and some men, some great men, they weren't white knights or anything, they were just saying, look buddy, you're stupid. You don't know what the definition of a white knight is then. But that's neither here nor there. I'm going to skip the rest of this because it's just you complaining about how he has resorted to ad hominem, which I agree, it's childish. But I have found, as I watch the rest of your videos, that you like to ask loaded questions skewed in the favor of women because, well, that's what feminism does best. So let's ask some loaded questions, shall we? Have you ever been presumed a rapist simply because of your gender? Have you ever been beaten by the opposite sex and then hear a woman scream, you go girl, or asked, I wonder what he did to deserve that? Have you ever been raped and then told it is impossible to be raped because you had an erection? You must have wanted it. Has it ever been socially acceptable for you to have your genitals cut off and then lapped about on a public forum with no public backlash or outcry? Have you ever seen a man brutally beaten and then have zero public outcry or campaigns to remove such an ad because male abuse is funny? Have you ever been rejected simply for asking someone out on a date and have your motives questioned every time you do? Have you ever been sitting on a plane and you were told that you had to move simply because of your gender when a child was sitting next to you? Have you ever been expected to be the breadwinner of the family and if you weren't you were less of a person? Have you ever been denied your child that you wanted because your partner chose to abort? Have you ever been forced to pay child support on a child you didn't want? Have you ever voted without being forced to register for the draft or selective service? Have you ever been circumcised without your consent? Have you ever been given a discount for your car insurance simply because of your gender? Have you ever been presumed guilty simply because of your gender? Have you ever been denied a free breast exam simply because of your gender? Do you want me to go on with these loaded questions? Women aren't the only ones with these problems. And I know there are female equivalencies to these questions, but I'm simply pointing out that the questions women are asking can simply be skewed in favor of men as well. Stop trying to infer privilege with your questions, else I ask my questions and infer female privilege.